A huge night in the fashion industry last night as Karl Lagerfeld presented an amazing inspiration for the American West for his annual Materes de Art Traveling Fashion Show. It was held last night in Dallas. Chanel turned one of the halls at Fair Park Dallas Art Deco exhibition venue into a barn for the night. Complete with the hay-scattered runway, models in Western-style hats and boots wore outfits adorned with fringe, leather, and feathers. The final model was dressed in an all-white ensemble that included fringe pants and a floor-grazing feather headdress. Lagerfeld said after the show, here, featured with socialite and philanthropist Lynn Wyatt, that he was inspired by the idea of the old Texas, even before the Civil War. He noted that his cowboys were not typical cowboys. They were transposed, very sophisticated. Many of the outfits included Native American-inspired prints, with most of the models wearing a single feather in their hair. Denim also made frequent appearances on the runway. For more than a decade, Lagerfeld has picked a city to, uh, for the fashion house uh, for, for the theme of the Materes des Arts, where they highlight the work of the local artisans. Past cities have included Tokyo, New York, Shanghai, and Edinburgh. Luminaries in attendance at this year in Dallas included Lily Collins, major it girl and film star of the moment, and a lovely British actress there in a couture sequin gown, and Dakota Fanning, who looks all grown up here uh, and very sophisticated, love her hair all pulled up. And the new face of Sunel, who was also la announced last night, Miss Kristen Stewart. She will be the new cover model in future campaigns for the couture brand. And we also see her here hanging out with uh, Dakota Fanning in a car there uh, as one of the pictures that was available for them. Very, very fun. Well, this is very important because it's not just fashion news, it's actually fashion history. When Coco Chanel, after World War II, reopened her fashion house, she actually wasn't embraced by the French. It was only when she came to America and, um, and teamed up with Neiman Marcus where she was actually re-embraced by the Americans and her couture brand thrived. So, a little bit of inspiration for all of us out there. If you're not finding a lot of growth in your immediate community, look outside the box, perhaps to a different country or to, to different people outside of where you're currently playing for more inspiration for all of your artistic pursuits. For more TaylorMade, visit us on EmpowerMe.tv, Dailymotion, and YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Until soon, stay fashionable.